Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena, if you guys are new. So if you guys are new, I am currently 33 weeks pregnant with baby girl. This is my first baby. And I started shopping like as soon as I found out <laughs> it was a girl, which was probably around, I think it was like, 10 weeks I can't remember exactly which week but it was very early on in my pregnancy and I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys on YouTube on Instagram to just share like everything that I've gotten so far whether it's clothes whether it's like just newborn essentials and so I've decided to just basically do a huge collective haul of everything that I've gotten as a new mom shopping for a baby and like pregnancy it's a completely different world honestly I never put this much thought into baby things until I actually Actually got pregnant and started doing the research myself and it's very overwhelming so I hope that this video is helpful to any of you who may be starting to shop for a new baby as well or just like putting together a registry or anything like that and for anyone who's not even near having a baby because I used to watch these kind of videos before I was even anywhere close to having a baby I hope that this is just a fun video for you to watch and just learn a little bit more about what kind of things you need for a new baby. I wasn't 100% sure how I wanted to film this video because it's just a lot of things. So I'm just gonna take you guys vlog style through the nursery and share everything that I've gotten so far. I will be linking everything that I mentioned down below in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoy. I brought my husband in here. He's about to go to work, but he knows how to work this better than me. She reeled me into it. <laughs> this is the only stroller and car seat that we have so far, but it's an infant stroller car seat combo it's awesome honestly so it's called the duna it has like a little mount that you put it in the car so you can just like pop it in to the car and then you pop it out and then you can turn it into a stroller yeah it just like the wheels just like pop down and then it's like a little mini stroller I'm still trying to like figure out all the things <laughs> isn't that so cute and then you can pull the handle higher so it's easier i got the gray color it comes in a couple of other colors but let's practice that's <laughs> so cute it's gonna be about that size right? we love it i can't wait to use it we don't have any other car seats or strollers at the moment so but i don't think we need any more than this for a while so like i said before i wasn't exactly 100 percent sure how i was going to share everything but i think what i'm going to do is just literally share everything that's in her chest of drawers that's kind of everything that i've gotten so far so i'll just kind of take you through but i wanted to share this because i don't know if i've updated you guys on the full like the final look with the bar pole handles a lot of you guys got the bar pole handles after i shared them and that was just crazy to me because i thought it was just such a random item but i'm glad that you guys like them i hope you guys like the final result i love them so much i will link them down below for you if any of you guys are interested as well but they're the 10 inch bar pole handles and this is the ikea mom dresser let's get started in this top dress Drawer. I have all of her zero to three month and some newborn pajamas and just like comfy clothes to wear while we're just like chilling at home and I also have some bows bibs mittens and things like that so i'll go ahead and get some of these out and share with you guys some of my favorite pieces and some of my favorite places that i found clothes for her before i do that these organization little bins are from amazon and i will link those down below they were really inexpensive and i really like the way that they just kind of like separate everything and make it super easy to organize the first thing that i knew i needed to stock up on were just kind of like comfy pajamas and zip up sleepers this is actually a knotted gown from lulu and company i've shared them before for, but this is one of my favorite baby brands that I've found yet and their materials are super super soft So I have a bunch of their two-piece sets and a bunch of their knotted gowns Then a lot of you guys and I've just heard from people everywhere telling me to get the zip up sleepers So I don't even have one <laughs> sleeper that has buttons on it I've made sure that every single one I have has a zipper So it's just super easy to take on and off for diaper changes and things like that So I got some really nice ones from the brand called spearmint love. I love their material. It's so super soft thin jersey and it does have the fold over mittens some of you guys were telling me to make sure i get some that weren't as expensive so that i wasn't like as upset if she ruined them and had blowouts and stuff so i got some from target
Blanket. This is the Burt's Bees Baby brand. I thought this one was so cute with the little swans. I got some just plain ones from Old Navy. Now these aren't as soft as the Spearmint Love ones, but I'm sure like once I do like wash them and stuff, they will get softer. I obviously haven't washed anything yet and I will be washing them all before she gets here inshallah. So these are the pacifiers that I got. They're the ones by Bibs and I just ordered a couple off Amazon to see if she likes them, but I have heard that a lot of babies like these and I just think they're the cutest ones. So I got like a cream color and a blush color and I also got this pacifier clip from the brand Lulu Lollipop and I thought this one was really cute and would match all of her outfits and also it's really practical so that your baby is not dropping their pacifier on the floor and you're having to wash it a million times a day. I also wanted to share a few bows that I love. This is by the brand LaBelle Baby. They have gorgeous velvet bows and I think this would be gorgeous on a newborn. This one is huge so maybe not for a newborn but this one's by the brand called Reverie Threads. I found a bunch of cute pieces on their website. I will make sure to list down below in the description box like all of my favorite baby boutiques that I found and also my Amazon shop so that you guys can just shop everything that I've gotten so far in one place. It'll be just super easy for you to find everything there. I did find a bunch of really cute pieces from H&M Baby but I'm glad that I purchased these when I did because for some reason they are so low in stock of all their baby stuff. It makes me so mad because I really wanted to get some more short sleeve onesies and stuff. They're all out of stock in the smaller sizes but this is newborn size so this is gonna be so cute and this is also another little newborn set. Here are a couple of the onesies that I was able to grab from H&M. I need to get some more white ones so if you guys have like a favorite brand to just get soft like regular white short sleeve onesies let me know because a lot of you guys told me that they live in these. One of you guys also gave me a really good tip to put your baby in this as like an under piece and then put like their regular clothes on top that way if they have a blowout it gets on this rather than their cute clothes so i thought that was a really good idea so i need some more of these this next drawer is her next up size so i think three to six months and then some six to nine months so a lot of this is for like fall winter time so let me show you some of my favorite pieces so these are all some three to six month outfits that i love this one is from h&m the little ribbed leggings and then this cute little muslin top so so cute and then i'm obsessed with knitwear sets so this one is from zara baby zara baby is like my weakness you guys they have the cutest stuff ever this little bear hat is from the brand called petite maison kids they have some really elegant pieces for baby as well and then this is another zip up sleeper by spearmint love and i just think this is the cutest thing ever it has the ruffle i'm obsessed i was having a hard time finding a lot of sizing options on their website as well so i'm glad that i got this stuff when i did i will link their shop down below i would highly recommend their pieces i also wanted to share these because both of them are from amazon i will be linking the baby clothes that i find that are good quality and stuff on my amazon shop page so you guys can take a look but i love this little knitwear one piece it's so cute and would be good for a boy or a girl and then I really love this little ruffle bodysuit that you can pair with like a pair of pants these two were a win from Amazon also got some little tights and some high knee socks that I thought would be really cute to pair with dresses in the winter time and I got both of these from reverie threads I thought that was just the cutest thing ever moving on from clothes this drawer has more of like baby essentials I do have some diapers in here I don't know anything about diapers I just am trying this one out and then a lot of you guys told me that I probably should get some newborn size diapers because they need a smaller size when they're first born and I don't know why I thought they didn't come in newborn size I thought they started at size one so now I need to order a newborn size just in case she needs a smaller size when she's born let me know if you guys have like a specific diaper that you swear by or anything like that because this girl has no clue I'm also going to be using water wipes I've used these in the past on myself and I love them so I'm sure that I will love them for my baby so I I got like a huge pack of them. I love these because they're like 99% water and then like a tiny bit of fruit extract. They're super gentle and they're also like really wet and clean really well. I wasn't sure if I should share this or not because I don't know if I would recommend it to everyone. Just for my peace of mind, I ordered a baby Doppler for checking the baby's heartbeat while I'm pregnant. And I've just checked it a few times like if I'm curious or if I just feel like I haven't felt her move in a little while. This one we do not think is very accurate in the numbers that pop up on the screen. I will say that I had patients like come into the hospital who were freaking out because they had a baby doppler
were at home and they weren't able to find the baby heart rate and they were just in a absolute panic and it wound up that their baby was fine they just couldn't find it with the Doppler they had at home so I don't know if I would recommend this to everyone but just for my peace of mind I got one this is where I just kind of threw all of her toiletries and things like that so let me share everything that I've gotten so far this is a little pack of baby washcloths I figured it would be nicer to have something that was a little bit easier on her skin this <laughs> was recommended by one of you guys as well I was looking at it and I was like oh is that necessary but then someone was like this is a necessity it's basically like a little spatula that you put the diaper rash cream on and then you can apply it to your baby with this so that you don't have to have it on your hands so I'll try it out I think that will be super helpful I got a baby nail file because I know that baby's nails get long and they scratch themselves and cutting baby's nails is so intimidating because they're so tiny so I know that this is probably going to work a lot better than nail clippers but I did get nail clippers as well the nose Frida if any of you guys are moms or have been watching any baby videos this comes up in everyone's essentials this is is basically so that you can suck the baby's snot <laughs> out of their nose so they can breathe. I know it sounds gross but there's no way you can get the snot in your mouth. Apparently this works so well and is like everyone's must have. This I saw online and I was like that sounds really cool. <laughs> this is called the Baby Windy. It basically allows you to help baby expel gas <laughs> if they have a lot. You basically just insert that into their bottom and it allows them to pass the gas so we'll see. This is the Honest Diaper Rash Cream. Let me know what you guys' favorite diaper rash cream is because I have absolutely no clue. That's the ultrasound gel. I got some baby aquaphor and then this is the softest little baby hairbrush ever. I love it. It's from Amazon. This is a temporal thermometer. I got one of those. I'll probably get a regular thermometer as well just so I can like be 100% accurate. This is the cutest thing ever. It's a baby towel, hooded towel. That's what I'm trying to say. And it has little ears and it's the most beautiful, softest baby pink. I got it from Amazon so I'll link that too. I only got one hooded towel like this. I don't think I need like a million. This next drawer has some miscellaneous stuff and some more toiletries. Since I did work in the hospital, gave babies several baths, they use these type of scrubber brushes at the hospital and I feel like these are the best ones ever. Like I can't imagine a brush being any better than this. It just works so well to really clean their hair. Also would be really good for cradle cap as well. It's just kind of these like silicone-y soft bristles. For the bath, I have some Honest Lavender Body Wash Shampoo. And then I also have the lotion. If you guys have a better brand that you love, leave it down below. I'm just literally just bought like one to try out. This is gripe water. I heard in a video that this was someone's like absolute essential. It basically helps with gas, colic, hiccups. So I got this just in case we need it. I also got, what's this one? Gas relief drops. So apparently I was super colicky. <laughs> so I got these just in case we need it for the baby. Then I grabbed some saline spray and drops that you can put in their nose to help them breathe easier if they are like really stuffy oh here's the actual nail clippers and file that I got I have a bulb syringe this is a little portable fan that you can connect to the car seat or like in the car or whatever since I'm gonna be having a summer baby I thought this would be super important I'm also gonna be bringing this to the hospital for myself during labor I think this will be super convenient to have because ladies get super hot when they're in labor <laughs> and we do have fans at our hospital but sometimes they're like few and far between so I I would definitely want to make sure I have one with me. These are the letters for my little letter board right there. These are just like the extra ones. This I thought was genius. This is for bath time so that you can pour the water over your baby's head and wash their hair without getting it in their face. These are the baby milestone cards that I got. I got one for when she's first born, inshallah. And then it comes with one for every month of the year up until 12 months, but I thought that was super cute. This I found on sale at Nordstrom <laughs> at one point. This is the Sophie the Giraffe Chew Toy. I heard a lot of babies are obsessed with this and it's so cute. For bottles, I got this box from baby list it has like a bunch of different kinds of bottles in it so that you can try them out this comes with like five different bottles to try out because it kind of like depends on your baby as to which one they will take i am planning on breastfeeding but i would like to be able to pump and have someone else feed her breast milk out of a bottle from time to time so i did want to like just try out a bunch of different bottles and see which one she likes and then whichever one she likes the best then i can actually buy like a full set of those this drawer has all of her blankets and swaddles and 
bibs and things like that. So let me share what all is in here. I got a pack of muslin bibs. I've heard that a lot of babies like spit up and even when you're breastfeeding, just having this around their neck can help to keep their outfit clean. So I got just some basic ones from Amazon. These are some burp cloths in the same material that are also from Amazon. They're like really big. You could just throw this over your shoulder. If you're burping your baby, keep everything clean. These are some baby carriers from Wild Bird. They're the ring sling. Just keeps you hands-free when you're wearing your baby and they are super stylish. I got like a peachy color and this linen tan. This is just a swaddle blanket that I thought was super cute for photos that I got off Etsy. I loved the pom-poms. This last drawer is a bunch of postpartum stuff so I'll be sharing that in another video sometime soon. That is pretty much everything that's in her drawers. This is the baby bathtub that I got. Doesn't that look like it would be super convenient and easy to clean? I've seen the ones that are like flower petals that you put in the sink and things like that but I feel like that would be hard to keep dry and clean and things like that. I don't know. I don't know anything about it but <laughs> this just looked like it was a lot more convenient and would dry easily and it's not like a hard plastic material it is more of like a kind of like a foam I will have to get something bigger for when she gets bigger so I can wash her in the bathtub But I thought in the beginning this would be super convenient. It's called the pooj infant travel bath I did get the snuggle me organic. She is not going to be sleeping in this I just threw it in the crib just to have somewhere to put it But basically this is just kind of like an infant lounger that way you can set your baby in it When you're sitting on the couch or you just need to put your baby somewhere And I wanted this one because I thought it was just like super comfy and just kind of like snuggled her in I got the color natural and I really love it. This is the baby sound machine that I got by hatch baby I heard so many people love this this thing. I have not figured out exactly how to use it yet. Apparently you can like hook it up to your phone with an app and do all kinds of crazy stuff. It has different colors and different sounds. So it has a ton of different sounds to choose from. Like waves and water. I think that's rain. And then this is the last thing that I thought I would share that I got. This is the gather changing mat. I thought this was amazing because you can just bring this wherever throughout the house. I know that I'm probably not going to be using this changing station when she gets bigger i'm probably just going to be changing her on the floor or just on the couch or the bed or whatever because it'll be a little bit safer and i thought that this would be perfect because you could just bring it throughout the house that way that everything stays clean it wipes off it's faux leather and it comes in a ton of colors let me share with you some of my favorite pieces that are on my clothing rack and where they're from because a lot of these were my favorites since i hung them up and wanted to display them i just found some really cute boutiques this is from that brand called spearmint love that i was talking about earlier they have some really cute outfits Outfits. This one is from a brand from Australia called Arabella and Rose. They have some gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. So that is from them. And also this one. I literally have something that looks almost identical to this. It comes with some bloomers and a little top. This is from that brand called Reverie Threads. Look at this little tutu. I'm just like dying over that. Spearmint Love. Amazon. So cute. And I think that is the cutest little sweater dress that she could wear with tights. I loved this sweater dress. It's from the brand called, what is it called? Hannah Anderson. It's a little bit too preppy for me, but I loved this piece in particular because of the ruffles and this would be so cute with tights or high knee socks. And then the rest of these are from Baby Zara. I love the embroidery and the details on all the pieces from Baby Zara. I am obsessed. I only have a few baby shoes because I know that these aren't like 100% necessary until they actually start walking, but these were my favorite ones from Freshly Picked. They are the cutest little newborn moccasins. These two are from a brand called Age of Innocence. They have the most elegant shoes for children. I think these will probably fit her when she actually does start to walk around like one year. And then these were from a brand called Zoe and Zach Kids Wear. There's some little moccasins as well. I will be linking everything that I've gotten so far on my Amazon shop page and I'll link all the boutiques and like just all my favorite baby stores down below that I've found so far. If you guys have any favorite baby stores, leave them in the comments as well. I want to know what your favorites are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.